Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on <coughs> LaTeX programming. Now in the last few tutorials we were seeing about uh, uh, writing source code inside LaTeX files <coughs> and importing source code through verbatim and list uh, list uh, listing commands. Now today we look at uh, uh, citing and how to refer papers and books uh, and citing them in your document. And now for first for that what we need is uh, what we need is that we need two sim two things first we need a, a bib file with all the citations for the referred papers and everything second we need uh, we need to include them in the document and cite them accordingly okay now before we go to that let's look at bib files okay to give you an idea of how citation looks like let me go to wikipedia Wiki wikipedia and uh, let me type some article let's say i just want to look at a look about a country like argentina uh, argentina argentina okay so if i were to search this and press enter okay the uh, wikipedia page about the country argentina looks like this as on 20th of october 2015 okay now if you now thing I like to point out here is that if you see these options over here like this numbers like 16, 14, 15, 17, 12, B, uh, 11 so on and if you look at these numbering these numberings are literally everywhere in the paper everywhere in the article and uh, when you everywhere in the article they have okay and uh, if you want to know where these are present just scroll down to the bottom and what you have here is that you just have uh, just have a lot of notes over here and then you have a lot of references where the, all your references and bibliography are mentioned okay all your references and bibliographies are mentioned nicely okay a lot of them okay these numbers actually go over there okay and even your okay and these are your uh, bibliography stuff okay these go over there now in your document if you want to have these kind of uh, references and numbering bibliography uh, you need the option of bibliography and for that you need to create a file called as bib file now I'll explain what's going on now uh, in this folder bib, bib underscore entry I've uh, let me just clean up all, clean up all of this so it's just clean up all this we don't need these as of now now in the uh, in this folder bib underscore entry I have two files bibliography.txt this is text this is the file we are going to work on and this is the bib file now let me if I open this with the genie okay now what I have here is I just have a bib and uh, bibliography entry like this and uh, two bibliography entries okay now this is about a paper on uh, improved general circulation modeling of Martian atmosphere from the surface to about 80 kilometers by a lot of authors like Fra Franz, uh, Fug uh, one of the authors is Forget, and other author is uh, Francois and Hurden and then Frederick Fo uh, Fournier, Ricard and Hurden and several others. Okay, now I'll tell you guys first what is a BIP file is. Now BIP file is actually the collection of uh, the article citations article citations that's it it's just a collection of that and if you want to dry, write uh, references and citations if you want to include citations you, uh, you keep the citations in a separate file and that's pip file and we're going to save all the all of them here now i'll just show you guys how to fill this now what do you do go to uh, let this be uh, let me close this up let go to google scholar google scholar okay now in Google Scholar, just type some papers like from just type the name of the paper or some topics. For instance, uh, for me, let me type something like Martian atmosphere, just for an example. Okay, and this is the paper I looked at, uh, for which the citation we copied at. So what if you look at this? This is the paper. Like let's say I want this improved general circulation modeling of Martian atmosphere. Go on. Okay, and uh, to cite it to get its contents. You see this option over here, cite, click this, and then if you're using a word processor, you can just copy the contents over here just like that and paste it in the bibliography section or reference section, just like that. Uh, in, in they have several formats like MLA, APA, Chicago, and so on and so forth. Okay. On the other hand, on the other hand, 
Uh, what you're going to do is that you're going to you click this option over here. This BibTech. Now BibTech, EndNote, RefMan, RefWorks are all different bibliography managers for different different software. Okay. Uh, BibTech is the bibliography manager for LaTeX, so we we need this option. So if you click this. It's redirecting me to a different page wherein it has the it gave me this set of codes. I what I have to do I just I have to copy all this and uh, I just have to pay I just have to you know paste it here and simple as that. Since I've already copied this and pasted it here, I don't have I don't have to copy it again. So instead let me take a new paper wherein I just I didn't look at it. Yeah, this looks fine. The study of thermal and dynamic structure of Martian lower atmosphere. Okay interesting so go to, I go to site and then go to bibliography biptex biptech and then looks this looks fine so if I copy this copy this and over here let me paste this now uh, so with this we have the article entries or the bibliography entries of three papers and if you have a lot of if you're referring to like a lot of papers like uh, 15 20 papers let's say what do you do is that only once when you download the paper, also get the citation like this, cite uh, the bibliography citation like we did, we did, we did just now, and copy them into your bib file, and give them a give your bib file a name that you can understand. Just copy all, copy them and keep it in a bib file, and that's it. You don't have to do anything else. Just copy them and keep it. Once that is done, your bibliography is ready, uh, bibli bib your, uh, bibliography file is ready. Then you just have to import this in your tech file and use it accordingly. Before we do that, uh, let me explain what's going on over here. Let's take uh, uh, one uh, one uh, bibliography section for a paper, and let me just dissect dissect you and explain you guys what's going on. So this is actually uh, the uh, bibliography entry for one one of the papers. So the first thing it starts with an at, and then you have an option called as it's written as article. So this is actually an article article document okay or a paper document whichever you call it not a problem and then the first and uh, within parenthesis okay within parenthesis okay let me just zoom it up for you let me just zoom it up for you and if you see the parenthesis from here to here okay this is all a part of this uh, article now in this uh, the first thing this this one forget underscore 1991 this is actually the site uh, site name we go it's actually an identification num name or an ID for this entire article for this article so if you're going to refer to this article in the document we're going to use this name forget it all so this can be numbers name numbers uh, symbols alphabets whatever you want but thing is make sure that you write something that you uh, that is easy for you to refer to that's easy that's easy for you to remember Okay, that's about that part, and that uh, just write that. And then what you have is that you have a title. Uh, this is simple. Title is within the, uh, equals within curly braces the title of the paper. So if you see, it goes all the way till here, and then a comma followed by that. You have the authors, author option which has all the authors, and then journal equals uh, it equals. I mean, it's its value is actually the journal from which this article is present published. Okay, and then you have the volume, volume number, uh, the number, the press, the number of this article in the volume, and then in the page numbers in the journal, and then the year of publication, the publish uh, details and stuff, so on and so forth. With this, you have one um, reference ready. Okay, sometimes let's say you have a paper for which you don't know any of these details. How can it go about with it? Simple, just type. Uh, underscore I mean just type at uh, article and then open brackets and then write your uh, name like uh, ref name and then I just have to type title title and then in brackets uh, sample title sample title author let's say me Okay, why not? I'm, I can be an author, just like this for a joke. Okay, for a, okay. Uh, seriously, if you have a paper like this and you don't have the citation ready, you can make it on your own. Just do all this stuff. Journal. Okay, let me write it as uh, my journal. I mean, 
you get the point what you i think you get i think i'm uh, you're able to get the point what i'm driving home okay you can just 